Well, now that we know how to identify datum features, we can talk about how to control datum features, and that's really what this chapter is all about. There's a flowchart there on the very first page of the chapter, and in this flowchart, it first asks if you're dealing with a feature of size. If you're not, you're generally dealing with a flat surface as a datum feature, nominally flat surface. So as a primary datum feature, you will usually need flatness. Your secondary and even tertiary datum features often will need an orientation control. I'm saying angularity. You could use perpendicularity or parallelism if they're appropriate. And occasionally, you'll have to locate these features. So for location, you'll have to go to profile of a surface. Now, if you're dealing with a feature that has size, the size tolerance and the limits of size, you'll remember from chapter 2, control the form of the feature. So your primary datum feature usually doesn't need a control. Your secondary and tertiary datum features often will need an orientation control. I'm saying angularity, which can cover all of the orientation tolerances, or you might want to go with perpendicularity or parallelism. And occasionally, these datum features need to be located relative to the higher precedent datums. And so we're going to have to use position.